Hello, I'm Pierce Black, and coming up with a senior speech was one thing I was always nervous about coming to the school. Since the beginning of freshman year, I would see speech after speech being presented at morning meeting. Some of these speeches caught my attention, while others put me halfway to sleep. During these speeches, what grasped my attention most was from the beginning was how the speaker presented themselves and how they presented their speech. Just like in everyday life, first impressions can mean a lot and how someone alters the way they see you. Seeing how someone dresses, walks, and talks, and even how they carry themselves tells you a lot. Over the summer, I was at a recruit division, um, and I was a recruit division commander at a boot camp in the Navy Sea Cadets. As a recruit division commander, I oversaw six staff as well as 28 recruits for two weeks. My staff and I were, if, if my staff and I were to be super relaxed and not well put together the first day, the recruits would have never respected us nor felt the high intensity environment it needed to be. One of the hardest parts of all this was being able to put on a stern face in front of the recruits because I enjoy talking to others so much. This is one of the things that separates the staff from the recruits is how we need to be able to control our urges by knowing when to talk and whom to talk to. Throughout the two weeks, my staff and I had to do lots of pressure in scheduling class times to teach classes about different things like types of fires, when to bring them to lunch, and also when to let them use the bathroom. As a team, we were able to accomplish these tasks, just like in school when we were working on group projects. If one person takes all the work themselves, this can lead to issues like not work being done or not done accurately. Being able to delegate the work among each other is beneficial. Also, who you delegate the work to can also make the project easier. If you know one person is good at graphing, they can be in charge of that. Well, if someone's good at drawing, they can be in charge of the pictures. When de delegating the work, you need to make sure that you're not being too strict because no one wants to work on something that will want to work on what they're assigned to. You need to sound confident but not informed, just like as in giving a speech. Another thing the cadet program has taught me when becoming a leader is how to gain the attention of those who are leading. I've had many different leaders throughout the years, some who were able to captivate us in everything we did, while others who just seemed to be going through the motions. This made lectures about fascinating topics become bored, rather than something we all look forward to. One way they were able to captivate us is how they talk. They didn't just sound monotone, like this noise that comes from our computer when we're all too lazy to read. They felt the words felt energetic and meaningful. If I were to read the whole entire speech like this, you'd probably want to be at home in bed still. As most of you have probably seen, there's a new addition on our school field, the Gaga Pit. Over the summer, I and some other classmates and friends built this for my Eagle project. During the project, I had to direct and lead everyone in the building process. Part of this project was stepping back as a leader and having others do the physical work. When I had to direct them, I made sure everything was clear on what they were doing and split them up into groups and working on the project, like digging and putting brackets on the walls. After we finished the work each day, we would go out and get something good to eat, which made everything worth it. I am sure if I led differently, the jobs would either have not been completed or even worse, not even started. How you act towards others can make all the difference in how you work as a team. I always hated being part of a team where there's one person always barking orders at me. When this happens, I either just work slower and just don't want to work at all. Knowing that, that makes me never want to be that kind of person. Another way seniors and leaders have grasped my attention is by using references that we all may know. For example, Julia quoted Shrek and used that to explain her speech. This wasn't just a funny quote that worked. It helped us relate to what she was talking about, giving us a, deep, giving us a deeper connection and understanding, which keeps us engaged in the speech. If someone was wanting to write a speech about being shy and not having a lot to express, they could have used a quote by Stephen Hawking. Quiet people have the loudest minds. This would be something we would all understand because we all know Stephen Hawking and how in his later days he was not able to talk due to his condition, yet he always had something on his mind. Another reason why we're so captivated by Julia's speech is because she wrote about what she cared about. I care about, care deeply about both the cadets and the Boy Scouts because I've been in the total of both of them for 17 years. If you're writing a speech about a topic you um, want to talk about rather than having to, people will hear this in your speech. If you talk about something you'd rather not talk about, and people may lose interest in wanting to hear, instead of wanting to hear more. I hope you enjoyed listening to my speech and hope to see you using my God up it soon. Thank you. Shout out, Mr. Matthews. Although you left the end of sophomore year, I enjoyed all the fun times we had in our advisory. Ms. K, although I've had you an advisor for only since junior year, I've always enjoyed being in all your classes, even though I sometimes struggle with the work. Friends, parents, thank you for always allowing me to come over and always being there for me when I needed help. Ashley, I always enjoyed being one of your close friends you could always write to for hours and hours. 
Noah, thank you for always buying me back in COD, even though I died 10 seconds later. Ava, since the beginning, I've always loved our long talks and will always remember the first week of school where we talked until 3 a.m. every day. Miss you so much. Walker, since the beginning, we just clicked, and I've enjoyed every second since. Although, the, although, although all the records were lost, I hope to hear some new song recommendations from you soon. Hope you come forward ever. Julia, although we were always friends, I enjoyed getting closer to you these past two years and laughing at the most random stuff with you. Robbie and Josh, thank you for always being my best friends that I could always count on, all the way since kindergarten. Ellie, every time I hang out with you, it always feels like a new adventure with you. Thank you for always being there for me and allowing me to be there for you. Katrina, that's it. Just kidding, thank you for always being my younger sister by four minutes. Bailey, although I've only had you for a short period of time, thank you for not ripping all my stuff up. Love you. Grandparents, thank you so much for always helping me reach my goals. Mom and Dad, thank you so much for always pushing me towards my goals, even though I always get sidetracked. I would not be in the place I am without you. Love you so much. Thank you.